this video we're going to show you how to set up and install the pool guard model pgrm-2 pool and spa alarm if you're not familiar with a pool alarm a pool alarm is des designed to detect a small child or pet that falls into an unsupervised pool uh, this pool alarm is certified by nsf to the astm f2208 standard for residential pool alarms and if you're not familiar with who NSF is, um, you can go to their website at nsf.org and um, just click on the tab that says certified products. You can type in pool guard and that'll bring up uh, both of our pool alarms. But in this video, we're going to concentrate on the model PGRM-2. So let's just go ahead and open the box and uh, get started. Uh, first thing we have here is the manual and the uh, reset key, sleep and reset key. This will be the remote receiver that goes inside the house. This alarm will sound inside the home when the alarm at the pool sounds. Here's the power supply. This powers the remote receiver that goes inside the home. Basically all you have to do is just undo the cord and take it apart and then this plugs in right here and then this plugs in the wall any standard outlet in your home and the remote's good to go there's no on off button on it there's nothing to turn on you plug it in the red light comes on here's the horn hole and that's all there is to it rest inside the box we have the handle and the actual pool arm itself so let's go ahead and install the handle to do that you will need a Phillips screwdriver so we'll just take this off real quick that there this pool arm comes with a three-year warranty and um, you can fill out the warranty registration card on our website at poolguard.com and uh, you'll need the serial number for that which is on the bottom of the unit and right here's the serial number you'll just need to add that into your information and just send it back to us this is basically the front of the alarm this is the reset sleep decal this is where you will hold the red key to operate the unit let's go ahead and take the red key and the manual out and this is the red reset sleep key this will operate the unit by holding it close to this area right here this is the green LED that will flash while it's in the pool approximately once every 10 seconds to let you know that the battery's working and everything is still good. And here is the horn hole. This is where the sound comes out at the pool because this alarm will sound at the pool and in the house when there is a, an, an intrusion into your pool. So let's go ahead and install the nine volt battery because that is what this unit operates off of is a nine volt battery. And we have one right here energizer so we'll go ahead and take out the foot screw once again this is a Phillips and we will pull out the electronic assembly we will set the alarm in the upright position this is what we call the upright position which means when you take the alarm out of the pool we recommend that you keep the alarm in this position okay now what will happen when I hook the battery up the alarm will wake up and go off and we will need to put it to sleep and to put it to sleep, you will need to hold this key up here for about three to four seconds, and then the alarm will go to sleep. So we will go ahead and hook the battery up. The alarm will sound. We will put the battery in the battery holder. Hold the red key up there. The alarm goes to sleep. And now we're ready to go ahead and put the foot screw back in the alarm. Now, if you, once you get the battery in, if you would turn the unit upside down, it has a tampering sensor in it, so you will set the alarm off again. If you do, just put it back to sleep with this key. Okay, another thing we have here on the bottom of the alarm, this is what we call the alarm stabilizing pin. And uh, we recommend that you use that, and, and the way you use it is you'll need a 5 16 masonry bit uh, to drill down into your deck, and uh, that will actually keep the alarm stable and let the uh, alarm work correctly in your pool. If there's for some reason that you can't use this or, or something is, 
uh, strange about whatever you're trying to do, just give us a call at 1-800-242-7163, and we will uh, find another solution or help you with your uh, problem with using the pin. Now, before we install our pool arm into the pool, uh, a very important thing we need to do to get our pool ready so it doesn't interfere with the alarm is to adjust our eyeball fittings to where they're pointing down toward the bottom. And to make that real easy to do, be sure to shut your pump off. That way, it, this is much easier. All you have to do is, is lightly uh, loosen that and you can adjust these eyeball fittings. Uh, uh, just aim it down, lock it back, and that's all there is to it. Now, while your pool is calming down and you, you've re, uh, adjusted your eyeball fittings, now we can go up and drill the hole for our ASP or our alarm stabilizing pin so we can get the alarm actually in the pool. Now, before we drill our hole, we wanna make sure that the alarm is centrally located in the pool, uh, which means in the middle of one of the long walls it is a real nice uh, area to put the alarm. But you wanna make sure that there's not a return line pointing directly at the alarm. Um, you don't want the return line interfering with the pool alarm, so make sure that if any of your return lines are not pointing straight at the alarm, even if, if it's straight across and pointed down, it's still gonna come over and interfere with the alarm, so you don't wanna put it straight across from a return line. The range of this pool unit, uh, it needs to be in the water at least two and a half inches up to five and a half inches. Uh, this piece actually that goes down is 11 inches long, so you can measure from the top of your uh, deck down to your water level and um, just see what you have. Um, if it was seven inches, uh, that would put the alarm in the pool at four inches, which is really what we, we recommend. Um, so to drill your hole for the uh, alarm stabilizing pin, you wanna keep this part within three eighths of where it breaks over the top here on your coping. So you can just kind of hold the alarm down there and leave you a little bit of room about that much, mark that with a pencil, and um, then take the alarm out and use your, uh, well, if you're drilling into concrete or grout, you'll need a 5 16 masonry bit. Uh, if you're installing it in an above ground pool, uh, if you have a wide enough top rail with a deck on it, uh, you can actually use this alarm in that pool. Um, so you would need just a regular drill bit to go through the top of this. But we're gonna go ahead and set this down into the pool. And when we set it down in the pool, the alarm will sound and we just use our uh, red reset key to reset the alarm. Notice that the green LED is flashing and the alarm is sounding. And now the alarm is reset and it is um, guarding your pool. Now, if you reach down and lift the alarm up, if a child would walk by or, or, or um, whatever and just lift the alarm up, the alarm will go off. Now there is a way to put the alarm in and out of the pool silently. And I'll go ahead and show you how to do that real quick. Uh, what you wanna do is hold the red reset key up here for about a second and the alarm will chirp. And once it chirps, it will give you 10 seconds to set the alarm down in the pool. After that 10 seconds has gone over, it will chirp again, telling you that it is armed and ready to go. So we'll go ahead and show you that. Chirps, set it down in there. And at the end of 10 seconds, it will chirp and uh, be guarding your pool. And now it's guarding your pool. Now, if you want to take the alarm out of the pool silently, it's the same thing, except we give you five seconds to get the alarm out of the pool. So we'll hold it down there for a second. Chirps. We have five seconds to lift it up. At the end of five seconds, it'll chirp. Now the unit's asleep, and we can set the unit aside in the upright position. Okay, now another feature with uh, putting this in the pool silently and removing it silently is um, once you hold this up there for a second, the unit will chirp and you have 10 seconds to set it in the pool. But let's say you decide you don't want to set it in the pool and you want to set it back off to the side in the upright position. After 10 seconds, the unit will chirp. It realizes it's not in the pool and it will just go back to sleep. Now that's the same way as if, um, if it was in the pool. And let's say you decide you want to take the alarm out and, um, and you want to go swimming because you, you do not want to leave this in the pool uh, while you're swimming. There's no on off on it. There's only uh, reset when it's in the pool. So let's say you're, you're wanting to go swimming. So you hold the key down there 
and you start to pick it up and then you decide, well, I don't really want to swim right now. So after the five seconds goes, it will chirp and it realizes it's still in the pool. So it will continue to go ahead and guard your pool. Uh, the battery life uh, on the nine volt battery in this unit is approximately one year. Uh, one of these pool guard units will cover up to 800 square feet, which is basically a 20 by 40 uh, rectangle. Um, if you have a free form pool or an odd shaped pool, uh, you may need two alarms in that pool. Uh, you can contact us at 1-800-242-7163. Uh, you can also send us a, a picture of your pool. Um, you can email that to sales at poolguard.com or info at poolguard.com. And we can actually take a look at your uh, pool and mark on there uh, where to put the alarm or uh, where to put two alarms if you happen to need two alarms in your pool. Uh, just remember to uh, remove the alarm from your pool when you're going to swim and wait till your pool calms down before you put the alarm back in. Uh, if you have any questions at all, uh, give us a call at 1-800-242-7163. Uh, you can also email us at sales at poolguard.com or at info at poolguard.com. We'll be glad to answer any questions and just be safe around your pool.